Hey everyone, Michael Fry here with uh, PXG Golf, and as I promised, I wanted to talk a little bit about the PXG. There we go, PXG 50 gap wedge. Took it out to the range today. Chipping was awesome. I was using my 60 degree uh, for my chips most of the time. And then I got the 50. I thought I'd try it out, and way more consistent. Was able to keep the ball on the hole a lot better. Plus my yardage is a little bit better. And we took it out to the range. You know, I was looking when I got my gap wedge, I was looking for a 120, like a 100 to 120 club. I was hitting this um, consistently. Like it was between 120 and 130. So it's actually going a little bit further than I wanted. But the way this club hit is awesome. Now, the thing I don't like about this club, as I mentioned in my other review, or when I was ordering it, is the grip. The grip, I just... I, I don't like the grip, so we're going to change it out. Um, as you know, I like the CP2 grip, so I got my grips from Golf Pride. And we got the CP2, the CP2 wraps. Okay, so that's what we're going to put on here. And I'm going to show you exactly how to do that really easily. And um, in this video below, I'm going to leave links to everything that you need to go ahead and regrip your clubs. So, um, when you're if you watch my other video, which I'll put on here, when you're ordering these clubs, this is the standard grip that it comes with. Now, there are other options for getting different grips. However, this grip right here, they had on there for thirty dollars, thirty dollars. Where you can go to Golf Pride, um, you can get it on Amazon as well, and you get it for like ten to twelve bucks. All right, and then with all the stuff. It's not going to cost you much to put it on yourself, and it's really easy. So let's go ahead and get this old grip off. Got my utility knife here, and uh, I just got a hook blade in here. Now this is the one I've been using. Probably should replace it, but we'll just go ahead and use this one. So what you want to do is you just want to get it in here, and then you're just going to pull it away from you. All right, you want to pull it away. Don't pull it towards you because you don't want to cut yourself. It should be pretty easy to do. So let's go ahead and do that. Ugh, okay, there we go. Um, like I mentioned, I've used this blade quite a bit, so a little bit of it. So go ahead and peel this off. But it should be really easy because it's a brand new club, right? So if it gets a little tough like that, all I do is uh see how it's like kind of pulling right there i just pull this in and like where it's got and then just keep going at it a little bit and then you'll get it right off you know so that's off now you have a double-sided tape how we get this off is really easy i got another utility knife which you can use the same one again this blade's probably a little dull but we're just going to take it and we're going to scrape it off Nice and easy. It comes off really easy. And again, if you have a vise, it's going to be a lot easier, but I don't got one, so we're just going to do it like this here. All right, so now get some acetone and a towel. Put the acetone on the towel. We're just gonna start wiping this sticky stuff off and just keep doing it until we get it all nice and clean here. Looks like when they put it in, they uh, they just stuffed 
they stuffed it in there, which is kind of gross. All right, so now what you want to do, now that we have the grip off, you want to grab your double-sided grip tape, okay? And how you measure this is real simple. Let's get this off of here. How you measure this is real simple. You take your grip, take your tape, and then you just want the same length as your grip. Just like that. All right, so then now we're just gonna cut that. I don't know where my scissors are. It would've made it a lot easier. I was actually prepared for this whole situation. All right, now we're going to take our grip, our double-sided tape. We're going to put it on our club here. Like so. You want to leave a little bit of an overhang at the top, which I'm going to leave a little bit more because, see, we want to be able to bend this in there. Let me take this off real quick. There, I'd usually do about a finger length on there. You gotta watch your gloves because your gloves will get stuck. And then now all we're gonna do is we are going to wrap this onto the club here. Like so. And then this top piece, what we're going to do is we're going to tuck it into the hole. Like so. What that's going to do is that's going to prevent any debris from getting into our club, which no one wants. Now we just need to take the tape off, the other side of the tape. Which I'm going to take this glove off because it ain't working too easy. All right. So once you have the tab kind of open there, we're just going to peel this down. It should come off really easy, actually. Put the stuff back in there. All right, and there we have it. There's our tape. Now, next thing we want to do is we want to use... Make sure you have yourself a little bin. I use a mud pan. Again, all the all the things that you need are going to be in the comments below. But what we're going to do now is we are going to pay. Grab your grip. Grab your grip tape solution. And again, all the information is right at the bottom. Pour this into here. Put your finger at the bottom of this hole. Once that's in, what we're going to do is we're going to take our grip and we're going to just pour it all over the grip here. All right, once that's done, we just take this, put it in, and just slip her on. And then we just want to tap it a few times. Grab our towel, wipe it off. Now, once you get this done, on this grip, you are going to see a little white line. See that white line right there? And there'll be one at the top. What you want to do is you want to line those up. 
And if you have a little grip, like I do, I cut a little long, which is fine. You have some extra tape. We're going to cut that off when you're done. So don't even worry about it. And don't worry about how fast you do this. You have tons of time to line this up. So now you just want to basically get, you know, like I look straight down the club. But you want to look down and you want it to be where you want it. Like I like the golf pride going straight down. So I get that going. And then spin this. There. So you want, see the white line right there? And then you want it lined up with this white line right here. So there, now we're good to go. And what I'll do is I'll just take the, the razor blade once it's dry and I will um, just cut this excess tape off. I just measured it too long. But there you have it. So now we have our new grips on here. Um, I usually let them sit for 24 hours before I play with it just to make sure it sets properly. But using a couple hours, you could probably start hitting with the club. But if you have any questions, comments, please leave them below. I'll be happy to answer it. And again, everything you need, the utility knife, the blades, the solution it's all in the bottom of um, this post and you can go ahead and click it and uh, check the prices on amazon and get it and then once you're done with the solution you can just actually pour it right back in voila and you can reuse it so there you go so now you don't have to worry about wasting this you just get to keep reusing it but again, I appreciate y'all. Again, Michael Ferrara, Positive Energy Golf, and I hope you guys have an awesome day. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.